I'm doing something a little bit different with this video, starting with a glamour shot of the finished product. I built myself, and whoever buys the house, what I consider to be just about the most ideal shower you could ever wish for. This will be broken into a few parts with this first video dealing with some of the framing and most of the plumbing. I gloss over some of the PEX work because PEX is stupid simple, but do address some of the issues that I ran into along the way. This short series about my shower will show you some of the issues you might run into as well as some of the creative solutions I came up with. So first tip is get this one, put it over here. That one has to come off too because I have to build a, a framing for the niche. And then those two have to come off and go somewhere too. So all of these are coming off. I'm gonna put new drywall on the back wall for the thermal break. I want to have a back wall built out because I have to bring the plumbing from over there over to there and from over here over to here because this is an exterior wall is to build a second wall out from here and put the plumbing in this this little bump out wall. I'll have to also build a bit of a drop ceiling. I'm thinking I might take some of the garage beams that I lifted the garage with and um, turn them into two by four studs. If I can turn those into studs, then they will be actually straight, they won't warp, they won't bow, and I can build the wall to be perfectly plumb and flat. Beauty! Now I'm doing construction. I have a hammer in my belt. That means I'm working. All right, now the fun begins. This project was broken into several days as I was also doing more floor leveling at the same time. So I had to wait for primer and concrete to dry and this was a good in the meantime project. I don't have to have this be like really exceptionally pretty or anything but I do want to get it sealed because this is technically part of like the building envelope. I'm not good at drywall mudding. I can do it in a pinch but I'm slow, really slow. So if you're cringing watching this, don't worry, I am too. You put it on and you wipe it off. And you feather your edges. This is what Vancouver Carpenter teaches on the YouTubes. This corner is going to get covered up by the drop ceiling and additional framing, but I still wanted to get a little bit of practice. Oh, I'm hitting this. I see. Okay, so we'll do this then. My, my little jank stand worked perfectly. We definitely have a more curved side and a more straight side. So we're gonna have to wash that when we're building it. And that's okay. That's pretty good. I know some tile guys, they would say, if they look at this, they're gonna say, uh, it's almost a quarter inch. I'm gonna have to float this whole wall out. So this wall that I'm building is gonna serve two purposes. One, and most importantly, it's going to hold the plumbing 
and two, because I'm building it with this, uh, this LVL material, that is extremely straight. So if I can fuss up getting this, these top and bottom plates nice and plumb, we need to bring the bottom out relative to the top. So once the top piece is in, I can get the bottom piece in place, use this and that to get it perfectly plumb, and then I can put the studs in where they need to be. I mean, would you rather pay a towel guy to float out your shower so that he's satisfied that it's flat enough? Or a framer, the same framing rate, and then just have him use LVLs for the shower area. To me, I'd rather have the framing be perfect. This is where two people would be a little helpful, but I'll get there. There we go. I can get one screw in here and then fuss the other end and then we can check the middle, but if these are straight, it should be good. We should be pretty happy. Perfect, I can't even feel a seam there. There's no rock here at all. This is the frame for the drop ceiling. I can screw straight back into the other framing and then I added blocks in the front to be able to attach two of the trusses through the drywall. The blocks in the middle are for holding the plumbing. Okay. That feels like it's too close together. Okay, and then I think that looks a bit better. As far as height goes, like that's not bad. Matt was bored and wanted to play with tools, so he came to help lift the drop ceiling and then also prep the valves. I wanted to have this front edge be flush with the front edge of the closet there. Definitely better to have a second set of hands for that. Yeah, it wasn't gonna be fun. I would have found a way, but it wasn't gonna be fun. I probably would have just put like a, a ledge in and then tipped it on and raised it up. That's acceptable. It's pretty flat. And the bubble's pretty much in the middle. Since I was installing four valves and the valves were only available to me with threaded connections, I had to get 16 threaded to PEX adapters taped and doped on. This is one of those things where plumbers will charge you their full however many hundreds per hour rate to sit down and do monkey work. There are only two things that are possible to screw up on these, the tape direction and which port gets the closed cap, and they'll still charge you the same rate regardless, and it does take a chunk of time. I don't agree with the idea that just because you're capable of doing the most complex, detailed planning, diagnostic, master level work, that you should always be getting paid like that's the work that you're doing. I think your pay should depend on the kind of work you're doing, and when I was negotiating contracts with companies like Marvel, Disney, and AMD, I followed that same principle. Tradespeople either don't seem to understand or refuse to engage with those nuances. That's probably good. All right, now we're going to check every single clamp. Literally every clamp. But I can't check every clamp. Can't hug every cap. Starting at the top. That's good. That's good, those are done. Left side, we've already checked down here, but we're gonna check it again. Done, 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 done. Done, done. Straight, done. Okay, cold side on the left is done. Touch every clamp. Left side is done, almost missed that one. Right side, those are done. Do hot first. That was supposed to be hot. I'm not gonna change it. Here's my pen. Whoops, oh well, not redoing it. I'm just finished checking up all of my, uh, all of my clamps on everything. And as far as I can tell, unless anyone noticed me missing one, all my clamps are good. 
I have, speaking of a right royal mess. <laughs> I'm leaving in a longer view in case you want to see how it ended up going. It started off really pretty. It started off as like, this is a clean manifold, hot lineup, tees off here, comes up, elbows in here, same as this. And then I put this in an awkward spot and I put this in an awkward spot and I'm like, okay, everything has to be moved. So it is what it is. This is typical garbage pex mess. It works, who cares? It's just not as pretty as I want it, but it's done. And if I want to, I can pressure test it tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna put this back in so I can find my center point. Uh, 79 and three quarters, so we'll go 40, 39 and seven eighths. So if I want my glass at 49, then I want 24 and a half for the center here. That'll do. The Laser Fusser 2.0 wouldn't have helped because it actually ends up blocking the plumb point. And uh, I can usually do pretty okay with just the leg spacing there. Now I wanna be able to get this centered in around here. And then from there, we have to figure out how to get from this point attached to this point. And this point can come back a little bit. And I'm gonna need to go find a silver Sharpie. We have to get this over to here. I bought this pre-slope shower pan. It fits in with this thing very well because they're made by the same company made to work together. That shower pan will go here based on the position of this thing. This thing goes based on the position of the middle of the shower. I am trying to figure out how to connect my plumbing so that when water goes in here, it actually gets into the plumbing. So I can't get it in closer to the wall enough that that makes any sense. So we'd have to do a little bit of a loopy like this. And you know what? That'll be probably pretty okay. Like it'll be a bit lower because what I did was I got a bushing that fits internally here. And then once this is in place, as long as this point is below where this point will sit, and that is determined by these styrofoam spacer dudes. And yes, I did ask, they, they do identify as dudes. So as long as this point is below this point, then I can put a little piece of pipe in between them and we're set. So this is actually gonna be easier than I expected. So there's two ways I could go with this. I could either do this and have it go a little bit further back that way, an inch closer to that wall. So ideally I want this to be, wow, sometimes I'm kind of okay at my job. That's basically exactly 48. Now if I go that way an inch, then I have to trim an inch off of that to make that 47. So what I would probably do at that point then is build it up to be flush out to here, still put my glass at like 48. The other option is to tilt that in a bit more to get this to be right dead center there. And then I don't have to cut that piece. This gives me a little bit more flexibility in how many ways can I try to do this? Cause I can leave more of this pipe exposed. And if I don't love how this ends up, I can still cut it back more and do this. We're gonna be darn close. This is not an angle I like, but I can't get close enough there. Can I do this? Come on, straighten out. Well, that sort of worked. I can use a knife for the rest. So then it would be wiggle this on until we can get this to be pretty darn centered and kind of level. Okay, that is pretty well centered, pretty well level. In Canada, we use ABS pipe for our drains for the most part. That's why they're black and that's why I'm using a silver Sharpie. ABS doesn't need a primer, that's why I'm using just the one part glue. So we're off center by about three eighths of an inch. I don't think anyone will see that. I think I'll be okay. And we need a piece that is, let's go up four inches and see where we get to. I think we'll be pretty okay.
So it's gonna sit about there. I'm gonna have to build up a little bit on this end and a little bit on this end and then bring a little bit out on the front to bring it up to this edge to make that flush. You know, it's only an inch and a quarter, so you don't have like a big curb to step over. This thing will go basically just right down in there. We're at a really good height. It'll smoosh into, this will get like some thin set around it and smoosh that in.